Lyme disease is an infection that is caused by the bite of a deer tick, which transmits a bacteria that gets into the human body and causes a very specific set of symptoms, starting with a circular rash and then progressing to the involvement of many organs if it's not treated correctly, including the skin, the heart, the joint, and sometimes the nervous system. Lyme disease is important in our area because the rate of Lyme disease cases has risen very dramatically in the last 10 years in Pennsylvania, from only a handful of cases in the Pittsburgh area to almost 500 cases being seen at Children's Hospital in 2014. We're seeing an epidemic of disease that is on concern to the CDC, to the State Health Department, and certainly to Children's Hospital. Besides the circular rash that can be seen with the initial tick bite, patients will also complain of pain or swelling in their joints, something that we call arthritis. They can complain of facial weakness and drooping of the facial muscles, which we call a facial nerve palsy. And some patients will even have signs of meningitis with a chronic headache, a stiff neck, and fever. Advanced cases of Lyme disease tend to have more arthritis, but they will also manifest some other more general symptoms like extreme fatigue, extreme tiredness, joint aches, muscle aches that continue for months to sometimes years. If your child's bitten by a tick and you're fairly certain it's a deer tick, which you can identify by searching any number of online sources, you should go to your pediatrician and have them speak with you about whether your child is a candidate for a dose of antibiotic prophylaxis. Prophylaxis refers to using antibiotics to prevent the onset of an infection. And we at Children's Hospital recommend that a single dose of the antibiotic doxycycline be used in specific cases where a deer tick has bitten a patient in Western Pennsylvania, has been on for at least 36 hours, and that the patient presents to your office quickly within three days of the removal. Tips to prevent getting Lyme disease are all focused around preventing bites by the deer tick, Ixodi scapularis. There's a number of simple things that you can do. Number one, checking for ticks on you or your family members after you've been outside for extended periods of time. Lyme disease carrying ticks tend to circulate and bite most frequently at certain times of day, and at dawn and at dusk they are particularly active, and so patients should be aware of that. The use of very simple insecticides that contain DEET, 10 to 30% in concentration, is very effective at preventing tick bites and preventing the transmission of Lyme disease. And then finally, simple things on cooler days, like wearing long sleeves and long pants, will absolutely prevent ticks from biting. And you can even use insecticides on clothes to prevent the ticks from catching on to them. Children's Hospital is doing research with the state and uh, national sources on Lyme disease. We're very aware of the epidemic here and we're working with pediatricians, family doctors, and internists in the community to get good information to patients. If you're looking for information, please visit our website at www.chp.edu for accurate and up-to-date information.